There aren't necessarily many different types of jet charter businesses, but they all share a common thread. They line up clients with available seats. The distinction between types of service lies in how they model their business. For instance, some providers sell fractional ownership to the clients. Essentially, you purchase a percentage of the aircraft and the associated support for that aircraft, and then your usage is pro rata to the percentage that you own. Other private jet companies sell blocks of time in predetermined increments. The client determines how much usage they require, and then they purchase a block of hours, which ostensibly lowers the overall cost. Pay-as-you-fly is another model, although it's perhaps less sought after since the lack of any outlay of cash or ownership in the jet generally makes it harder to secure your space on the plane. The model which sounds most appealing, but perhaps the most difficult to cultivate, is that of paying a flat rate for unlimited access and usage. A number of companies have promised this, and then they subsequently went down in flames. It's not really clear how a jet charter business could turn a profit on this model because it requires a practically limitless pool of aircraft and pilots, and that simply doesn't exist. All certified aircraft go down for routine schedule maintenance, and the supply of qualified air crews is definitely limited. Now, let's just preface this video by saying it's not a ranking. It's simply a listing, so number 10 doesn't necessarily mean it's worse. It's just where it falls in the list. It's up to you to pick what works best for you. Number 10 is NetJets. NetJets is the oldest and largest private jet company globally, amassing a fleet of around 700 jets worldwide of all classes and sizes. They support flights for over 4,000 airports across the globe, and they're made up of over 6,500 fractional owners worldwide. NetJets offers clients three different options for membership and use. Head over to the NetJets website below for more details. Number 9 is Wheels Up. A relative newcomer at only seven years old, Wheels Up is an example of a company transitioning away from the traditional old money mindsets and using technology, much like Uber or Lyft, to schedule flights on short notice. Now, after researching Wheels Up a little bit, it appears that no major changes of significance have been made since about 2018. It's crucial to distinguish that Wheels Up is like Uber and Lyft since an app is used to schedule short notice. It's still very much a jet charter company that you must pre-purchase a plan or package. Head over to Wheels Up website in the description below for package details. Number eight is VistaJet, truly a global charter company. VistaJet is the only private jet company that offers its own fleet global services. A number of companies charter private aircraft across the globe, but no others do so entirely with their own personal fleet. Number seven is XO Global. Since we originally started researching this topic in 2018, Vista Global, the parent company of Vista Jet, has acquired ownership of XO Jet to include commercial operations. Vista Global merged with XO Jet and the Jet Smarter mobile app and rebranded it as XO powered by Jet Smarter technology. Functionally speaking, XO remains a significant player in the private jet charter market. They still operate a fleet of Bombardier Challenger 300 jets and Cessna Citation X jets. Number six is Globe Air. Serving the European community exclusively, Globe Air is unlike many competitors in that it owns and operates jets. Zeroing in on the air taxi market in Europe, exclusively using the Citation C510 Mustang, which is a small jet that only requires a crew of one pilot, which substantially lowers the labor costs. Globe Air, like Victor, also offers empty leg booking to ensure that every mile is a productive and an environmentally sound mile. Number five is Magellan Jets. Chartering everything from King Air 90s to heavy Gulfstream G650s, Magellan covers all the bases globally through an extensive network of aircraft owners. Offering both personal and corporate memberships, Magellan has a program that will suit everyone. The corporate membership guarantees aircraft availability within six hours, no peak fees or blackout dates, and Wi-Fi availability on all midsize and larger jets. Number four is Jetly. Jetly advertises to be the number one fastest growing private air travel and lifestyle community. As opposed to the previous companies, the, the feel of their website is distinctly Uber-ish with an app that allows clients to check fares and schedule flights from their smartphone. Number three is JetSuite. JetSuite, not to be confused with their subsidiary JetSuite X, which has been renamed JSX, has been in the charter business since 2006 after Alex Wilcox left JetBlue. Originally branded Magnum Jets, the financial backers pushed the rebranding effort in 2008, and JetSuite has been named the namesake ever since. Number two is Victor. Victor has compiled an extensive network of over 200 operators to partner with, offering jets of all sizes to clients globally. Victor requires all partner operators to comply with ISO 9001 standards, and they provide this information to all clients, which ensures that prospective passengers are fully aware of the criteria which their air crew and aircraft have met. Victor offers an empty leg service, which shows all available space seating on jets that have been chartered and will have empty seats on the return leg. If any of these are compatible, the client is able to inquire and receive a quote on that single leg. And number one is Oxygen Aviation Limited. In the international market, Oxygen Aviation has been a fixture of the market for about 15 years, 
based out of the UK with offices in London, Madrid, and Moscow. Oxygen provides on-demand jet charter service, and the price quoted for the charter is for the entire aircraft. This, of course, differs from the fractional ownership in that chartering is a one-off agreement with no long-term financial commitment. So of these 10, which one is your favorite? Let us know in the description below and hit one of these videos on your screen for more.